guys simply natural here welcome back to my channel and today i have a quick word of the week for you guys so let's get right into it now i recently read a devotion um dealing with peace and one of the things that was mentioned that really stood out to me was about god being with us and when we realize that we have a better sense of peace we have a better understanding of who god is and so on right so i just really wanted to talk about that part right the part of god being with us and what that really means to us in terms of when we are living our daily lives right just going about our day doing things as normal whether we go to school we work we are at home whatever we do how far or how close do you see God and it really got me thinking about personal relationship with God and every individual's understanding of God and who God is and who God is to them personally right because if we have never experienced something when someone else talks about it we may have an idea because maybe we heard about it before we were taught about it before like growing up in church you know we say god is with us god is with us and we know the word emmanuel means god is with us but at what point in your life do you really experience god with you like how close do you see god in your life how close do you see god in your life is it that Yes, we know he is in heaven, but remember God is omnipresent. He's everywhere all at once. He's everywhere. So I think one of the ways we can better understand God and it helps with our relating to him, talking to him. And I mentioned this in one of my videos previously. Um about talking to him as a friend I think that's one of the best ways we can really reach out to God just recognizing that he's actually here when you think about it like that I think it gives you a whole new perspective right we are not taken away from God's sovereignty if we think of him being here with us on earth or well, he's not up on his throne yes he is but he's also here with us trust me it is something that i will never understand because i am human but that's something i would like to ask him when i get to heaven one day right so how can we do that how can we see god present today right now right here wherever you are how can we see God present I think we have to look at it as really really as a, as what I mentioned before as a friend I think that's the easiest way to see God with us <clears throat> um, because we have our friends around us when even though we may not live with our friends daily, but we can have him as a living friend, right? When we, when we want to talk to our friend, we call them up, we meet up with them, we talk to them on the phone, we go by them, they come by us. But this one is even closer because God is right here with us every single moment. He knows everything that is happening. He knows what has happened in the past he knows what is happening now and he knows what's gonna happen in the future and he knows everything so 
when we are going through our trials, our hardships, when we are experiencing success and joys and when we are disappointed, when we are confused, when we are we're not sure how we're feeling because <laughs> there are those times um, we just have to rest in the fact that God is here with us and he told us that in his word it says Isaiah 41 10 so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand and a lot of these texts where it talks about God being with us it also talks about him giving us strength so that is important especially when we are experiencing hard times and we're feeling hopeless the fact that God is here he can help us he can fix it he's the only one who can fix it really because there is so much we can do in our own strength we can't do it in our own strength there's only so much we can do as humans um, so we really need to lean on him and trust that he knows what's best for us and we need to like when you really can't go anymore we need to just reach out to God we need to just talk to him and ask him what is the next step okay God calm my mind I have so many things going on in my mind please give me peace I'm not sure what to do in this situation please help me please show me what to do God I am tempted right now and I am feeling very low I need you to give me the strength these are ways that we can ask God for help and one of the things that helps us in strengthening our faith is okay we're not thinking like God is so far away and he's so busy that you know what I don't think he have time for me right now I don't think he could do this right now because he have the whole world on his shoulders and he have everything everybody else is used to deal with even if it's a small issue, even if it's a very small issue, we can still call out to God. Like there's so many times when simple things, I, I just think about it in my mind. And that's why I love God, you know, because we don't even have to express something out loud. We can pray in our mind. And God can still hear us isn't that cool like there was a point when I was just so flustered about something and wondering how it's gonna work out and stuff and I was there oh gosh twisting and turning I couldn't sleep because I was anxious and I wanted to know how this gonna work out what's gonna happen and so on and then I started praying in my mind Lord, I need to go back to sleep. I need to get my proper rest. Please help me to let this go and you fix it. Provide the answers. Help me to rest in the fact that you are going to help me. And it took a while and I was just there. I just tried not to think anything and then I decided to do a devotion on my phone which is the devotion that inspired this message today um, and when I open it I was doing a, a 10 day plan of peace so when I opened it the same thing I was dealing with at that very point in time that was the message for the day for that day and I'm like that is so interesting because it talked about the person being tossed and turned and they couldn't sleep and whatnot and the same thing that 
I was trying to do is what was recommended. Give it to God, talk to God, give it to God, let it go and just go to sleep because he is here with us. He wants to help us. He wants to help us solve our problems. He wants to take our burdens and our stresses away. So just talk to him, right? I hope this encourages you and just remember that God is here with you. Wherever you are, God is there with you and you can talk to him about anything. Talk about your good times, thank him for your good times, ask him for help. Relate to him as a friend and he will help you through your situations. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you were blessed. If you were, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye.